welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you for clicking on this video my name is natasha i make content about fashion and my life so basically when it comes to the fashion side i do like outfit ideas I give you little tips and stuff and lifestyle is this it's just me documenting my life so that in a few years time i can look back on it and see what was I doing? What was I thinking? What was happening in my life? This video is very different from anything else I've done on my channel. I just thought it would be fun to have a day of doing everything that makes me personally happy. I initially got the idea when I saw on Instagram Amelia Star. I don't know if that's, I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she's a Danish YouTuber, influencer, whatever. Someone had asked her the question like, what makes you happy? And she had posted a photo of her notes where she had written down everything that makes her happy. And that got me so inspired to like, write down what makes me happy. Whenever I'm in a mood where I'm not feeling great, or whatever, I should just look at that list and see like, okay, well, what can I do that's gonna make me happy? I'm dedicating this day to doing the stuff that makes me personally happy because I'm only doing it for a day though there are certain things that won't be able to happen and then sometimes stuff that makes me happy or stuff that I personally can't control so I'm gonna write down the list on all the stuff I want to do today and I'll get back to you okay so I just finished writing down everything that I think I'll be able to do today as you can see, it's a pretty long list, so I'm quite happy about that. So what I wrote down is reading, doing creative stuff like drawing, going to cafes, shopping, having a tidy space around me, eating yummy food, wearing an outfit that makes me feel confident, filming and editing YouTube videos, which obviously maybe will be part of the video, but like I am filming a YouTube video and I'm gonna be editing it, getting my nails done. I already have an appointment for Thursday, as you can see, they're not all there, but I'll um, insert a clip somewhere in this video when I do that and then hanging out with friends. So I already have some plans today. I should be able to do all of these things, but right now I'm just chilling at home. So I'm thinking I could already start by doing creative stuff like drawing. So I think I'm gonna start with that. I have no idea what I want to draw. I creative brain right now is not here i'm just gonna tell myself like whatever happens happens even if it turns out ugly i don't care i'm just doing something creative and that's it no pressure <laughs> I made myself some hot chocolate i think this is the first time no second time i'm having hot chocolate like this fall season it feels like we're diving right into winter with a little hot chocolate this is the end result very random just drew like some random little stuff and lines all around it but that felt like so good get my creative mind flowing it's like low-key therapeutic i enjoyed that a lot i was supposed to go to a cafe today with a friend and study and stuff but she is sick so it's sad it's a good idea for me to still go to a cafe and like study and stuff but go alone because i've never done that and wanted to do that for so long but i just hadn't really had like the opportunity so I think I'm gonna go study at a cafe alone today. I'm so excited. Obviously, I still have those thoughts like, oh my god, I'm just gonna look like I'm lonely and whatever. But I don't care. For me, it sounds so peaceful. And then I'll actually get like my work done. Also have like a little chai latte on the side, you know? So I think I'm gonna do that. That's so exciting. I'm so excited. The next little task we're gonna do is not like the task isn't fun, but the result is what we like. So I like having a clean space around me, which means I need to tidy up because it is messy right now. I have dishes that need to be put away. So the cleaning isn't fun. Well, sometimes it can also be like therapeutic and stuff, but right now it's not that. I need to clean to be able to have a tidy and clean space around me. So let's just get to it.
It feels so nice to have a clean, tidy space. I still have that bag there, but that's recycling that I have to go do. Now my mind can be at peace because there's no clutter around me. I can just breathe. <laughs> Just filmed a little get ready with me where I show you how I put together my outfit. This is another part of things that make me happy. Wearing an outfit that makes me feel confident. Because this is like, I think this is a cute outfit. Plus, it's comfortable. It keeps me warm. And I like the way it looks. So, great stuff. Okay, get dressed with me to go study at a cafe. Very gray out right now. So, I'm going to kind of match the mood and go with these like Dickies scrub type pants. And then just like a little hoodie. So these are the scrubs. I actually thrifted them this summer when I was in the US. Definitely think I'm gonna wear my leather jacket with this. I'm gonna add some jewelry, a bag, shoes and stuff like that and I'll be back. Okay, I added some rings, don't look at my nails. Sunnies, this really cute bag. And I can see my shoes, I have these Kulabura X Uggs boots. And I am good to go. Oh my God. Okay, so I had a collab with a brand a few days ago and they just posted me on their page and that just made me so happy like ah! It's like the first time that I get posted on a brand and it's like not just like a story or something. It's like real like ah! I'm currently making my bag right now bringing all the stuff that I want to study when I'm at the cafe I'm just basically getting ready to go. Bag is ready to go. So the cafe I'm going to is one that I've never been to that I've been wanting to go to. So it's kind of fun to try a new one out. It's kind of got like this Parisian theme to it, I feel like. So super cute and I look super like cozy and stuff inside. studying and being a great student i decided to do some window shopping i went into flying tiger because they literally have the cutest things ever obviously it's halloween season so that can definitely be seen when you walk in there they had this really cute weekly planner so cute so aesthetic love it i kind of just went into like all different types of shops not just like clothes and stuff but i mean i did also go into like clothing shops too these flowers were so pretty but like i can't take care of plants like they just die when they enter my apartment so it was a no for me but very cute still oh i left my puffer jacket in luxembourg so when i saw these i was like oh my god i really want it so i don't know if i'm gonna get another puffer jacket for winter or not also are you a ballerina girly like i want to know do you think the ballerina trend is like you because i don't know what to think about it like i think it looks good on others oh smeg yes i want that for my future house please 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 they're so aesthetic and pretty okay but tell me why i'm looking at a pair of shoes that i'm literally wearing on my feet like i'm literally wearing such a similar pair on my feet like i don't even know why i picked these up also these cups so 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 pretty love them then i went into a bookstore but it was literally closing in like 10 minutes so i didn't really look at much except for the book talk section do you guys like books from like tiktok because i don't know what to feel about them so far i've had a great success but i don't know if all of them are like that not sure why i went into an arts and crafts store but it was calling me and these these little bracelets i low-key want to buy this like just imagine some friends you're making bracelets having some wine just vibing like oh so 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 cute i'm so tempted to get that like for real this is so random i hope you can hear me um on a roof or like a you know a parking that's a rooftop parking right that's the word because i just found this place because i was taking some pics for the gram which wasn't even planned but because i found like a cool location i did it also this location is very cool so I'll be taking pics here another time. But I didn't even know, like I knew that this existed, but I didn't know what it looked like. I had never been up here. I was like, okay, I'll just go up and check it out. And it's so cool. Like it's an open space, big parking. So whenever I need to take pics, I know that I can come here. Anyways, I just did some window shopping and I don't really have much more planned for today. Actually, food. I could insert when I get my nails done here. I hope they turn out good. 
we are currently located in my bathroom lighting is not the best but i'm sorry about that but it's dark outside these are my lights i am about to get my nails done i'm so excited because mm, girl mm, mm, do you see this i have two out of five nails so we need to get that fixed i have prepared a little very quick photoshopping to kind of show my nail tech like what i want i've gone for like halloween nails kind of ish like aesthetic halloween nails tell me why i've been to this place three times okay three times and not one time have i got an appointment like before six like today my appointment is at eight no 7 40 p.m well obviously p.m because if it was a.m then that would definitely be an issue then i would like actually be complaining but still 7 40 p.m to get my nails done i feel like that's that's a little late it's at least it's like super like it's literally down the street so love that i think i'm going to be filming a little uh tiktok whilst getting my nails done so you can see it a little better go follow me on tiktok i recently did a new account because i felt like my old one was like shadow ban and stuff so go follow my new tiktok account i literally just got home but here are my nails this is one hand and the other one is white cute yeah i got them a little bit shorter than last time this finger is like dying and they're kind of like halloween-ish she couldn't do the one the middle one the black oh sorry she couldn't do the middle one the black one but that's okay i just said okay that's fine and we did oh my god stop and then <laughs> we did the same yeah <laughs> later i'm gonna go get food at espresso house because i ordered too good to go so we'll see what we get if it's good if you get a lot or not and yeah stay tuned look how pretty it's the start of a sunset Oh my gosh, this lighting is so bad. But in 10 minutes, I can officially go pick up my Too Good To Go bag. And the place is literally, like it's Espresso House, it's literally like 100 meters, not even 100 meters from where I live. It is completely dark outside. And it's not even 8 yet. Like it's 7.36 p.m. But I'm gonna go get my food. Those 10 minutes went by so, so fast. I literally have... 14 minutes left to pick up my order, but it's really close to me, so it should be fine. But like, whoa. One thing about me, I'm the best. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I hate the dark. I don't like walking when it's dark. And other people looking at me. Also, why are there like barely any lights here? Like it looks on camera like there are so many lights, but it's actually so dark. The bag is secured. Bro, whenever it starts becoming dark out, I start like seeing things. Or not seeing things, but like, I just think like stuff is happening i'm like oh my god i'm now being followed by a strange man like this and that's happening anyways bag secured let's check what's inside i don't actually think i was being followed well if i was being followed i made sure that they didn't follow me home anyways <laughs> let's check what's inside so i bought this for about under five euros so to be exact 49 swedish crowns and this is what i got prosciutto focaccia bread things these are so good if you don't know what espresso house is it's basically like a starbucks uh like coffee shop that also sells like sandwiches and just like little stuff on the side i got like a little yogurt breakfast cheese and ham sandwich it looks like quite nutty sandwich bagel and i don't know exactly what's inside from what I'm seeing, it looks like there's cheese, sun-dried tomatoes, some sort of beef or like hammy thing. I don't know. In total, four things. Four things here, all for under five euros, which is honestly quite good because I'm pretty sure that like this thing right here would cost probably like five, six euros. So I'm happy and I have something to eat for dinner now. And that about sums up this video. I think like before I'm gonna go to bed, I'm also gonna read. This is the book I'm reading. I've only read about like five, six chapters, so I haven't gotten into it that much so far, but it's a different style of writing than what I'm used to reading. 
but it's interesting thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please like and comment down below so that i know you enjoyed it once again just thank you for being here if you watched until this point of the video comment where you come from so that i know where my followers are from with that said i hope i'll see you in my next video bye